I'm Kathleen McWiggan and we're on the Circle Line in Manhattan on the East River looking at a very interesting public art project by a Danish Icelandic artist named Olafur Eliasson. His idea was to put waterfalls in New York City, which may sound a little crazy, but he wanted to call attention to the city in a way that the people who live here don't normally think about it, by creating an unnatural, natural creation. Inspired by waterfalls in his native Iceland, but made in here in New York City in a way that doesn't hide their artifice. They built tremendous pieces of scaffolding in four locations on the East River from 90 to 100 feet high. They're pumping water up from the river and then letting it cascade down. And the effect is very beautiful. The project had the full support of the mayor's office. Uh, mayor Bloomberg has been very interested in the arts during his term as mayor of this city. The city has provided aid and support, but not direct funding. The funds for this project were almost completely privately raised. What he really wants is for people who visit New York or live in New York to come down to the waterfront to see these waterfalls or to move between the waterfalls. The project will be up all through the summer, ending in October, and it should look different, different times of day, in different weathers. We have kind of a gray day today here on the water. It should be quite beautiful at sunset. Uh, there are also special LED lights that are part of the infrastructure of each of the four waterfalls, so that at night they should have a kind of sparkly look. going to be water taxis and boats available for people who come and visit New York or who live here and maybe have never been out on the water before. It gives you a whole different view of the city. We're surrounded with water, which we don't always realize when we're in our concrete canyons going to the office uh, or going home on the subway. And I, that's part of Oliver Gilliastone's point. He wants people to see the city in a new way and says that his projects really can't exist without people. They're not about the artwork alone, they're about the interaction of the public with the artwork. <laughs>